What time is it? Okay, let's go. That's right. What time is it? Welcome back to 120 Seconds. This is my part two uh, of my 2022 year interview. So these are my top non-M&E, non-psychopathic albums that I'm recommending for you to go take a listen to. They're my favorites from this year. The first one I actually did a, a review on, which you can go back and check out in more detail. It's Gruesome and J-Dog's Chilling Transmissions 2. It was a good horrorcore Halloween release. Uh, the next one is the Elbow Drop EP uh, 1.3 by McNasty. So it's the 1.3 version. It's a re-release of an older EP with additional tracks. And since it came out last year, I'm putting it on this list because he deserves more props and, and exposure because McNasty is dope. He played The Gathering this year and the crowd kind of started light. It was hot right in the middle of the day in the, in the gravel pit that is the nightmare stage. And as his set went on, more and more people started coming in and uh, because he's dope. And, and Elbow Drop 1.3 is dope. And it'll give you a good idea of, of where McNasty comes from uh, on some comedy stuff, some personal stuff, and he's a great lyricist. So my last three albums are, are, are a little bit related, and I'll get into it. So first one is UGA, or Underground Avengers, The Gateway. Now, you're going to jump down my throat, and, oh, Boondocks is on M&E. You're right, Boondocks is on M&E. But UGA is not. And truth be told, I'm going to be a little bit controversial here. I don't necessarily like Boondocks as a solo artist when we're, he's using the Boondocks persona. I think he's dope as Turncoat Dirty. I like him in Writers, and I like him a lot in UGA. So UGA The Gateway is the group album that came out. Leads to the next two albums, Buckshot's Helter Skelter, The Accomplices 2, which is just chock full of crazy good collabs. Super fun, guys kind of from all over the scene. And Don't Sleep on Buckshot's Improvement as an MC. Uh, as big of a fan as I've been of his for a long time, he has drastically improved his delivery and flow in the last two to three years here even uh, to where I like his newer stuff better than I like his old stuff. And that is also true for my final album on today's list, which I'm placing in the top three of my 2022 releases, and that's Classes This Is Revenge. It came out in early 2022, and it is super good. Uh, super in your face, lots of guitars, you know, super high energy hip hop, a little bit of horrorcore. He's got some solo tracks on there that are just absolute bangers, Feast and Smoke. And then he's got a what I probably consider maybe one of the best tracks of the entire year, which is a collab between him and Kung Fu Vampire and the ROC. So again, this is Revenge by Class. It's in my top three albums of the year. Check out the other ones I mentioned as well. And I will be back with part three of my 2022 year in review shortly. Thanks, everybody.